I implore all of you. I don't know why I just said implore. I never use that word. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Today, I'm finally gonna go get roller skates. I'm really excited. So, why don't you come with me and get some roller skates? Tell, tell me. So I took an Uber to a bus stop to then go buy some rollerblades and skate home. That's what you call diversifying your transportation. All right, so my friend's here, or she's getting here. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna be able to film because it's not in the best area, so I shouldn't have my big, my big camera out. We're in the taxi. Hola, Geraldine. This is my friend who is helping me get Las Patinas. Patinas. Rollerblades. Roller blades. The roller blades, they have been obtained. Now it's time to put them on and cruise all over the city. The guy at the counter was like, do you want any wrist guards or uh, things for your knees? And I was like, no bro, because I am dangerous. I also like to live dangerously. Actually, he didn't, he didn't ask me that. I probably should get some knee, shin guards and, and knee savers, because I'm definitely prone to accidents. Check out this girl's kicks, you know? This girl is just fresh. Head to toe. All right, now we're getting some kind of yogurt and granola thing. It's a yogurt and granola thing. You wouldn't understand. You just don't get it, do you? Cheese, yogurt, you know? That's what they do in Colombia. I got skates on my feet. Cheese on my feet, you know. Cheese on my feet. All right, Sandy Nation, see you later. so free I feel so free I love it so I just found this roller skating rink actually I didn't find it she found it because it's right behind where you buy skates look at this it's a full rink all right let's do a quick tour What's up, ladies and gentlemen? <clears throat> I feel I feel really amped up. This week um, has been insanely, insanely busy, and Brandon and I are totally maxed out. However, the point I wanted to make in this vlog was that I want to talk about finding something to do that you are obsessed with. Someone posed a question the other day when we got done with our ayahuasca trip, and they were like, dude, how can you edit a video? Like, you just got done, done doing ayahuasca, how are you in the state of mind to edit a video? And my immediate answer and reaction was, I'm obsessed. I am obsessed with this community. Like, I wake up every single morning and the first thing that I do, this is all the people who are really into like personal development and morning routines would be like, dude, that's so bad for you, man. I wake up every morning and I immediately look at all my notifications from YouTube, from Facebook, from our community. Like my world basically revolves just around our little community. Well, growing communities. And the reason why I think it's good to be obsessed rather than just, oh yeah, I love what I do, is because it gives me anyway the kind of like hardcore purpose that I crave in my life. I'm someone who I don't want to just love what I do. I don't want to like, you know, be like, oh yeah, it's so great, every blah, blah, blah. Like, I want to be like, dude, I can't sleep. Like, I can't wake up and not do this. And for me, that's making videos regarding fitness and how to be healthy and doing it in an entertaining way. So that is my obsession. I implore all of you. I don't know why I just said implore. I never use that word. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I suggest that all of you guys do the same thing. Find something that you are obsessed with and do that as much as possible. I got a little emotional yesterday because I was just thinking about Zen Dude Fitness and Zen Dude Fitness has only been around for a little bit more than a year and for those of you guys, you know, like I, I don't want to sound, on this vlog, I want to give you guys the unfiltered version of what my life is and 
I feel like sometimes on YouTube and other places on the internet, you don't get that. So for example, last year, when we started our business, I think a lot of people just assumed like, oh, these guys like are doing really well. They have a presence, they have a business, like they figured it out, they must be so lucky. Yo, last year was not easy, okay? Last year was easily the best year of my life, hands down. I think, I think both Brandon and I can look at each other and be like, yeah, that was, that was the best year ever. But, oh my God, business-wise, it was tough. Like starting a business, getting hard. Like there was just, there were just days where we were just making content and we didn't know if our YouTube channel was gonna grow. We didn't know if we were gonna be able to sell jump ropes. Like we didn't know what people wanted. We just kept producing content that we really love and, we, and, and helped us and thought maybe it would help other people. Like we are gonna have a million YouTube subscribers. We're just literally gonna do whatever it takes. Like I don't care if we work every single day for the next five years we're gonna get to a million. So we've always had that confidence in ourselves, but you do still kind of have this thing of like, okay, well, we might be able to grow a successful YouTube channel, but how are we gonna make money? How is this business going to survive? And fast forward a year later till now, we're not killing it, we're not making millions of dollars, but we have hit a point in our business that we're like, oh my goodness, like we have, we've created a sustainable business that we now is growing so fast and we need to hire people. And you know, it's gaining enough momentum that this is a real tangible business that could potentially last for a long time. So I am, first of all, just so, I'm trying not to swear as much on this vlog, but whatever. I'm so grateful. Like. I, you know, I didn't have a terrible life before this. Like I had a great job with a great software company in a great city. I lived in New York, I lived in Austin. Before that I lived in DC. Like I had a good life, but to be at the point that I am now after taking such a huge risk is so gratifying. And I say that because there are so many people, there's so many of you out there who have a passion. I know this because people tell me it all the time. We get hit up, we get contacted all the time. Random friends I meet, they say this all the time. There are so many people who have amazing talents and they want to do something about it, but they're so afraid to start. This isn't to say everyone should quit their job and start their own business. You can still have a regular job, but start a passion that might make you supplemental income or provide you supplemental happiness that makes your overall life better. But moral of the story is guys, just do something that you're obsessed with and stop caring what other people think. At the end of the day, like it doesn't matter. If you feel good doing it, then your life is gonna be better. I'm trying to get some work done so I can skate, skate, skate. I've been slacking on the fruit water day because I haven't, I haven't been at Brandon's and he's the one who usually has the fruit water. So today, athletic greens water, athletic greens water. Athletic greens water. Also, Zimby Nation. Someone commented on our video yesterday. Yesterday's video was the three supplements that we take every day. And they were like, is this a product promotion video? And I was thinking to myself like, yeah, it is promotion. It, we are promoting the products. Of course we're promoting products. And of course we want to make money off them. Like I took Athletic Greens way before we started promoting it. So like, yeah, of course I want to get Athletic Greens for free. And yeah, I want Athletic Greens to pay me to do that. Like, I, I never understood when people get bitter about stuff like that. Like, you know, I don't know, maybe you really like, maybe you really like DeWalt buzz saws because you can go to Home Depot a lot. And, you know, if DeWalt called you up and they're like, hey, Rick, you've been making a lot of nice houses lately. We want to buy all your saws for you. And all you have to do is make a YouTube video that says, I use DeWalt saws every day. Then, you know, that's awesome. Then you get to make money and still continue to use what you love. So when people are like, well, this is a paid endorsement or you guys get like free product for promoting these products. And my answer is like, hell yeah. <laughs> wow. Of course. Tyler's dead. You killed Tyler, Murphy. Why'd you do that? That's also a lesson. Anyone looking to start a company or a brand and you want to promote products that you already use and truly believe in, don't let people discourage you from doing it. You shamelessly promote those products Use them, love them, make money off them, holler at your boy. Yeah,